Hello again, and uh, welcome to uh, my uh, number five. This will be a little longer than uh, the last one, obviously. But this is Employment and Exchange Rate Policy. Russia has a massive unemployment and underemployment problem. With its fixed FX rate regime, traditional demand management policies such as increasing ruble deficit spending simply resulted in an immediate loss of FX reserves nor could interest rates be lowered by additional purchases of assets by the central bank as any added rubles were immediately converted to U.S. dollars at the, at the central bank. Perhaps my suggestion of lowering the interest the Treasury would offer to pay on GKS or GKOs would have sufficiently uh, cut ruble spending. But there was not a consideration. The only way the peg, uh, with the peg, could be sustained was through increased U.S. dollar contri uh, contributions from foreign entities. The uh, theory of stabi stability could be reached when the U.S. donated enough U.S. currency obtained by U.S. deficit spending to inflate the U.S. at a rate equal to ruble inflation. Needless to say, that was not to happen. Today, with a floating ruble, uh, Russia does have the abil uh, ability to engage in traditional demand management policy. It could increase spending by paying market prices for goods and services. However, that has been tried and seems to lead to levels of inflation well beyond 100% annually. The price elasticity of items uh, offered for sale seems to be very high. With what seems seem like small purchases driving up prices rapidly, behind perhaps this is due to a truly limited capacity to expand output in the short run, and additionally to the limited capacity to enforce tax liabilities. Bill Mitchell's or Randall Ray's BSE policy is, however, uh, qualitatively very different from the traditional demand management policy with its unique form of full employment and price stability it could very well instantly transform the Russian eco economy into something less mi miserable yes corruption waste lack of a lack of legal structure etc uh, would still be there but nonetheless life would likely be less miserable for much of the population the important difference is, is that the BSE program of public service job is offered at an ex exogenously de uh, determined wage. Simply offering uh, the BSE job at the pre prescribed wage accomplishes the mission regardless of the number of takers or the quantity of rubles spent. There is a very uh, there's a very real distinction between, on the one hand, paying a market-driven wage high enough to hire a given number of people by spending a given amount of rubles, and on the other hand, simply uh, offering the BSC wage and accepting whomever comes your way. The first can be highly inflationary, inflationary, excuse me, while the latter can be infl inflationary beyond a one-time adjustment. Yes, this one time adjustment could sharply lower the real BSE wage as determined by some index. However, that would represent the current market value of BSE labor sold to the government. The BSE wage could then be raised, however, it should be recognized that this would likely further devalue the currency with an, uh, another one time adjustment. With any tax driven currency, the price level is a function of the price paid by the government when it spends and the collateral dam demanded uh, collateral demanded when it lends. In other words, the price level is a function of what the government makes the taxpayers do do get the needed units that of the currency. Note that Argentina, along with its currency board type of monetary rule, has outlawed public sector in, in indexation. Inflation fell quickly and the peg was able to be held politically. The electorate seemed to be recognized uh, recognized that changing the nominal wage would not change the real wage. Unfortunately, that didn't uh, realize or that they didn't realize uh, ending indexation was sufficient and they further added the currency board policy. I suggest uh, economic performances 
uh, performance suffered in Argentina because of the, additional, uh, the addition of the currency board after ending indexation and in supper in Russian because of, the, because of a failure to recognize the interest rate mechanism associated with the floating cur uh, rate currency. In any case, should Russia select a combination of its current floating exchange rate regime and a BSE full employment policy, at least there would be a, a semblance of full employment with the potential of a real, gain, real, real gains in needed output by the new public employees, and there would be at least the possibility of the emergency uh, the emergence of the private sector as a functioning currency in re is reinstated. This should prove a major step towards from current policy, even with, even without rather a further institutional adjustment. Though no doubt that it w that would also be helpful. Particular tax reform and general legal structure, and it is entirely a, lo a local currency solution. No foreign involvement is required. Uh, a recap: fixed rate fix, uh, FX policy. If a government chooses a fixed exchange rate policy and simultaneously attempts to achieve full employment, it could very well lose its foreign exchange reserves. Uh, interest rates would be rising as expressed by the forward price uh, of the currency falling while the spot price is deep as being supported by a diminishing pool of FX reserves. This could happen with either a BSE program or a more traditional spending increase. In any case, the higher interest rates may accelerate the loss of FX reserves in two ways. First, higher rates could reduce business profits and consumer spending, slower, slowing the economy and reducing tax liabilities. Second, the, high, the higher rate of interest the government must pay to borrow itself puts more of that currency to private sector hands in the form of interest income. Furthermore, if the government attempts to tighten the fiscal policy, it may slow down the economy and thereby reduce tax liabilities when the currency and lose FX uh, reserves. The, that being said, if the tax liability happened to grow faster than government spending due to the nature of the tax structure and the institutional lending structure, such growing growth could be associated with currency strength. This is the recent U.S. model. Growth has uh, been propelled by an accelerating advance of private sector credit growth so much so that the savings rate has gone negative for perhaps the first time ever. However, though its credit expansion has sustained GDP growth and total employment, it has not been sufficient to sustain corporate profit growth, and the economy thus propelled may end very badly as credit expansion without income expansion is a case of increasing financial leverage. The mother of all misty bubbles is, about, is upon us. The floating rate uh, effect policy. With a floating rate currency, interest rates are set uh, exogenously and FX reserves are not at risk. Therefore, full employment policy can achieve full employment with no risk of loss of FX reserves. However, the currency could depreci depreciate, and this would now be examined, or will now be examined. The argument can be made that full employment policy could result in a depreciation of the, of the fixed value of the currency. However, one must look at the imports remain the same and only the distribution of imports changes. The macro effect is only the redistribution of the consumption of the imports. If imports increase at the micro level, the welfare, the welfare of the population is enhanced. The only reason to trade at all is to import, so only if uh, total unit volumes of imports falls could the case be made that welfare has been diminished. Likewise, exports are the macro cost of income uh, Im imports. The combination is called the term of the trade maximizing unit the volume of imports related to exports is how a population maximizes terms of trade. For example, if Unit volume of imports increases more than exports due to currency appreciation, the country is better off. I have yet to see anyone make the case that full employment policy decreases the terms of trade through currency depreciation induced by any additional national income due to increased net government expenditures. Furthermore, without full employment, the concept of co comparative 
advantages does not exist and trade often simply serves to facilitate a race to the bottom. Uh, business and production flows to areas with the most unemployed um, un unemployment and the lower co labor costs. So to attract foreign enterprise, the national uh, nation excuse me, must maintain high levels of unemployment as well as offer high profit potential. Neither is good for the domestic population. This, pit this pitiful yet near and universal policy is being forced perpetuated by a fundamental and costly misunderstanding of, of how currency operates. Bill Mitchell's BSE and Randall Ray's e ELR by implication reintroduce or reintroduce yeah, a comparative advantage as the driving force behind foreign trade. They provide the structural framework that sets in motion the kinds of market forces and incentives that a, that I suggest are much more desirable to the general population than those in place today. Taxation. The source of tax liabilities does make a difference. Transactions taxes such as income taxes and sales taxes rise and fall sharply with economic activity. This, of course, is a counter uh, cyclical force and provides a de degree of freedom. In addition to the uh, fixed rate, when considering the ramifications of fiscal policy, asset taxes, on the uh, on the other hand, generally generate highly stable and predictable tax liabilities and therefore do not provide a significant degree of freedom when working currency equations. With two degrees of freedom, a, a transaction tax and a floating uh, fixed rate exchange, uh, changes, fixed rate changes is uh, fiscal policy are less determined than with all-in-one. For example, a tightened fiscal policy can lead to a reduction of tax liabilities in the insurance uh, economic slowdown and therefore failed to, to strengthen the currency. Uh, little consideration has been given to this aspect of currency stabili stabili stability yeah, and control. I suggest that primary tax liabilities based on assets such as real estate should add an element of control and stability to a floating rate currency and a BSE program. National policy and politics. With full employment as, an, as a national goal, I think a floating rent currency is the only hope of sustain, sustaining success. Given that floating exchange rate traditionally demand management can perhaps sustain full employment, but only through policy that maintains tight labor markets and perhaps bouts of inflation that may prove sufficiently frightened, uh, frightening to bring, in, uh, bring an end to the full employment policy. BSE, on the other hand, allows for a discretionary macro policy that targets labor markets sufficiently lose for a des lose for a desired level of pr price stability. Additional points regarding BSE: those are BSE jobs will never uh, appear to be overpaid on the waste of, of uh, AU via ordinary market forces. Strong labor requires strong business. In today's competitive market, business is not strong, is not strong, and therefore, labor has little power. In fact, a worldwide race to the bottom prevails. As far as uh, business and labor and concern, uh, is concerned, BSE is the one vehicle that can introduce additional benefits for uh, labor, though this time from the bottom up rather than from the top down. All business must ultimately compete with the comp uh, compensation offered the BSE employee. Before a political constituency of sca scattered workers can be expected to, de to develop and support politicians who introduced real who introduced real benefits to the P BSE pool, these could include health care, vacation, education, support, child care, etc. Presumption of a public service motion is diminished by the government paying market, market prices. That is the end of this. Uh, once again, this was, let me get to the top, um, exchange rate policy and full employment. Uh, a, preliminary, a preliminary draft, um, which is supposed to be 45 minutes, but I wound up trying to do like parts of it. Uh, this is presentation, 12-3, uh, uh, anyway. Um, but that was from Warren, uh, Warren Mosler. I asked his permission earlier today you know, via Twitter if I could, um, if I can indeed uh, uh, read this out and kind of report it to, to, to some degree, free of charge uh, to, to everybody that goes out to my Patreon. But remember, um, everything else uh, you have to become a Patreon for. 
Uh, and um, I thank you for watching. Um, and soon I'll have teeth, hopefully. Uh, in the next month, just be real as far as the far goes. Uh, but thank you again for watching. Uh, thank you, Warren Moser, for allowing me to uh, to read this and and uh, talk and talk about it. Basically, um, I don't know. I'm still very much in learning of NMT, and but it does seem like um, a job guarantee program. Like uh, the a lot of the MMTers, uh, obviously including myself, um, that would that would keep. Inflation down because unemployment would would be at almost rock bottom. Um, that's just my opinion, of course, as far as the part of what I remember. Uh, Warren Moser and Sophie Kelton both saying, um, and also uh, a a uh, balanced deficit uh, is better than a balanced budget uh, because a balanced a uh, balanced deficit, everybody has money, everybody is able to con uh, is purchase what they consume. Uh, everybody can can save. In other words, uh, savings for non-governmental uh, would be up. In fact, uh, that's still going right now. Um, the problem with that, I've seen. You know, at this part, I'll I'll talk a bit later on uh, my uh, my talk of financially. Um, also on here though, somebody somebody putting that. Oh wait, no. My apologies. I'm still kind of getting things going here. That would be on my anchor. So that'd be anchor.fm slash. Uh, talking uh, MMT under, uh, underscore uh, financially. So thanks for watching. Uh, here pretty soon I'll be doing the, my normal news, and then then uh, the talking uh, financially. Thanks for watching. Peace out for now, and become a Patreon, and or subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Peace out for now. Either way.